so at the site of the mine still. Um, didn't know it was here, didn't know it was this interesting, so I'm just going to film around it. Uh, this goes before science was begun, as we know it. Stone tools, the first significant advanced, and that's about 2.5 million years ago, we can find evidence of tools you know, humans have made. 1.7, first axes, fires around 790,000 years ago, first fires by wooding, rubbing sticks together, wood and sticks together. So sediment, and that's our just, that's ace actually, isn't it? But I've got to keep moving because I've got somewhere else to just try and find. I didn't think I'd find something that interesting to be honest today. And I need a nice, because in summer you see, there'd be leaves on all these. You wouldn't see it properly if you just hit. See if you can hear the water, it's brilliant. I don't want to fall in, like I said. Just solid rock all the way around that. The grass has just grown over the edges. It's a solid rock face that. I'm on a cliff top. And like I say, there's a hole in there somewhere that goes at least a mile underground to get everything out. So I'm in the right area for Romans. Fires, uh, like I said, 790,000 years ago. So that's evidence of humans is what I'm saying. It was axes, 1.7 million. Uh, it is not raining unless you're under the electrical pylon. Can't really prove that, but I'm not. It's, what you're seeing is mist or dew because it's the Pennine Moors that's just hitting the electric. So I'm sort of stuck here now, so I have to return. But I know I'm in old places because you get like what's called bouncy grass. And there's a look at the walls. Tempting, aren't they, them? The Roman site. 500,000 years ago. Antlers are used as tools for multiple tasks, combing hair, etc. It's an ancient wall of some description, an ancient area. Ancient trees, look. Wow, I don't even know what trees they are. They're like yew trees or something, aren't they? Look. They're like Roman, aren't they? They're olive trees. If that's an olive tree, I'm in the area. I'm in the right area. Olive trees are notorious with um, Romans. That would be just the most unusual tree to find here, to be fair. It is, isn't it? So, just to remind everybody, I'm looking for a Roman fortification. That's actually private land. And I'll have to identify that later, so I'm filming it for that. Effect. Also. just to get a bit of footage and show some movement. Holly trees again. So that's the old line of something and a wall. Look. Four hundred thousand years ago, spears made of wood and the first ones were found in Germany. That's the highest point there so I'm going to try walking towards that as we go. We get some of this wall in the distance. At least try to. Um, 125,000 years ago, flake, slate, and stuff like that. So you can make accurate tools now for hunting. That's the uh, importance of that. Bows are about 64,000 years ago. Bow and arrows. Crossbows come later, but the next thing. Found some cave paintings, 35,000 years ago. Um, a lot of this is in Turkey, all around the world though, but Turkey seems to be a hotspot for early evolution. And I just found another little stream, Great Water Channel. 
it's natural spring again, another one. So today I've filmed quite a few natural springs. Sorry about that. I am in the um, Pennine Moors, I'm hitting things and wobbling a bit, but there you go. Still the stone wall there, and there's still the very unusual trees for the Pennines, I think. Might be wrong, but I think I'm right. Old wall up, it's buried. I know that there is old stone walling in this area anyway, because there's farming. But the Romans interact with the people in this area, and there's traces of sandstone in the walls. So what that says to me is they've knocked the Roman fortification down in this area, and reused the stones. Remember, we're up to, we can do these sort of things. Uh, we start domesticating dogs around the time we got the cave paintings, in, bone needles for picking your teeth, <laughs> ceramic figurines 24,000 years ago, 18 to 16,000 years ago is where we get the first clay pots, ceramic pots and things. So the furnaces obviously have been dreamt up. Just trying to find the path out of here and there doesn't seem to be one. And I will have to retrace my steps if it's private on. But luckily I didn't film my way here. So it's modern power. That's a cool shot, I think. I got away with that one, didn't I? As we go towards Manchester Basin in the foreground. So we're at one of the higher points of the Pennines, following along where there's Roman evidence. See, this is excavated for the pylon. So, the first rope twine, 18,000 years ago. Plant domestication in Iraq, so that's a farm nursery. Plant domestication. So follow this old stone wall along this old stone lane here. That's the highest point in this area where the communications tower is. The birds are feeding at the highest point, which means twilight's coming. Remember it's the shortest days of the year. And here's my strongest evidence that there's Romans, because they used the rubble in the middle of the wall. See all the old slate and things in there. Mixed in with red sandstone and all bigger things. It's all smashed up, unfortunately, but I'm going to investigate. Even if I can't film, I'm going to get this wall along there. Even its little thing. see how long it goes and guess what it's very straight see all Manchester from here and there's the mine I started on and you can see the view of things in the very distance on the horizon smoke lit up by the Sun going down So we've got mud bricks now, Iraq. So that's first house building, wheats and grain being farmed. Red sandstone in that wall, you see. So I'm filming it. It's been rebuilt with all sorts over time. So we're off in this direction. Towards Well, going back, I'm going to head towards Walsh Brook and get Victoria Mill, that's Industrial Revolution times, whilst I'm also looking 
because funnily enough in this place there's a place called Anthony Fold and that, think, that makes me think of Rome too like them trees just did so we're going to check out Anthony Fold in a minute and a, an old water wheel weir before it goes dark as you know I'm just recording history so that's just anybody who's interested in that it'll be in um, I'll put Walshie Brook in fact Walshie Brook might be important as part of this playlist, so Walshie Brook is where I'm going to be heading next. Manchester once again. You can just about see the towers. There you go, in the mist. And we're going off towards Walshie Brook, like I say, and then get this uh, old copper mine, or whatever it is, one more, because it's aced. Okay. So the first town with stone walls, domesticated goats and sheep, 8,000 to 8,500 years ago. Mud brick houses are first in Iraq and Turkey. Jericho, of course, is the first town with stone walls. Make it what you want of that, but Jericho did exist and it did have big walls. Everything else is, I'm not sure of. I'm not going to start off a um, religious war on Christmas Eve, well, near Christmas. Baskets and weaving, 6,500 years ago. Smelting of copper in Turkey. First spindle, Turkey also. And pottery kilns in Mesopotamia. That's um, where most places, people think everything started Mesopotamia. The Romans got their ideas, and Egyptians and the Greeks, often the Mesopotamians, invented all sorts of things. I'll do one about them one day. So on the other side of the mine, like I said, I don't want to fall in. Someone's camping gears over there. Oh, someone's been fishing in there. That, that'll be interesting. Hey, I'll tell you what, there'll be Jurassic fish in there, wouldn't there? <laughs> hey, there'll be ancient fish in there, you know. An older species that are untouched by man or people humans well, look at that. can you hear it so I think it goes under there you can see right through that water if you if you look closely someone's deck chair someone's climbed all the way along there to go fishing pure slate and stone in there all the way along see it all carved out for years there's no saying how deep that is, and I wish I had my aqua cam with me today and I haven't bothered. It's just too tricky to set up in a short space of time. You can see right through there. Look. That water's brilliant. That's under the water. It's, not a, it's part of a reflection too, but it's, it goes in under. Because it's on that side there where there is no reflection. Well, it's not even raining. It's hitting the pylon. We'll do that in a fast sweep. Pylon. You can hear it. Actually, looks like it's interfering with our video. So let's just finish off. Yeah, smelting in Turkey, Mesopotamia, and that's near a tiny place called Rome, which is a tiny place, or a little village with grand ideas. So, Rome starts 5,500 years ago with the first irrigation canals. They find them in Iraq and then we move on to Egypt. As we finish on the Pennine Moorland, and I'll just remind you, there's no evidence of a wheel in the story I've been telling. So, 5,500 years ago, they've still not found a wheel. There's evidence of log rolling, but people are dragging things. And I always thought that, but that was out of order. And, I've watched ancient alien documentaries and all sorts thinking about it and there is no evidence of a wheel. No matter what you say, there is no evidence of a wheel before 5,500 years ago. No one's hiding the evidence or anything. So think what you will, it might seem dead obvious, a wheel, but it's, it's only 5,000, 6,000 years ago. I suppose you could class a spindle, anything round. So there's no water wheels to power anything, nothing like that yet. There's aqueducts, 
put there for drinking water and irrigation and toilets. Okay, amazing, eh? So we'll go on to different facts very soon. There's so much to look at, I'm losing it, so peace out, Manchester. Highest point, I, I'm in the um, Pennine Moors, it's northwest Berry in Greater Manchester.